Hi, this is Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to show you how to make this pretzel charm using only your crochet hook or rainbow loom hook and 51 rubber bands. The example I have here was made using rainbow loom brand burgundy. The burgundy to me is a great dark brown. Uh, they also now on rainbowloom.com are selling a package of mixed skin tones, a number of which would look really cute as a pretzel. I'm going to use Rainbow Loom brand caramel. If you don't have a brown available, I'd suggest an orange or a yellow or even a white because it could be a chocolate covered pretzel, certainly. So have fun with it and knowing you, you're probably going to come up with something even better, like a rainbow pretzel or a red, white, and blue pretzel. It'll all come out cute. So just have fun with it. And don't worry about having exactly the same color as me. So to start, we're going to make the two short sides of the pretzel that go to the middle. And we're going to start with a single rubber band that we wrap around our hook three times. Then take two rubber bands and pull it straight and push that tripled over band to the center and place the opposite side on your hook again so that it looks like this. So that was one band tripled over slid to the middle of those two bands and now we're going to make this chain four long. So that's the second. And I'm going to add two more. Number three. And two more. number four and we're going to slide that down for now and create a second piece that's just like that. So taking another single rubber band, wrapping it around my hook three times, then taking two rubber bands at a time, pulling them tight and twisting down so that I can then push these three to the center. Hook that back on as my first. And now I'm going to add three more pairs of rubber bands. The question I'm asked most often is why use two bands at a time? Two bands at a time are what help keep the charm's shape. When you use only one, the charm that you make will have the same shape, but it will look a little less strong and you'll be able to see light through it so the result just won't look as solid. So that's three and now we want to add our fourth so that the two sides of the pretzel are even. Those are now the same length. I'm going to take two rubber bands and pull them through all of these. So I'm pinching on the bottom so that I can pull those two through all four loops like that and start building around the side of our pretzel. So from here, we're going to keep going 16 times in a straight line. So this part is going to be a little repetitive to watch. So that's number Technically that's number two in the chain because we have the first there. Now we're going again. Three. Four. Five. This is a great time to turn on your radio because you definitely do not want to hear me sing. And we've still got 11 to go. The 
This is the same step over and over, no magic here. Just hold tight with this finger, twist so that your hook doesn't get caught and pull through. And keep on going. You're doing great. You're going to have an awesome pretzel really soon. And I really love this one because the shape comes out so well. Anyone who you show it to will know right away it's a pretzel. So I've lost count. So let's check how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So two more. Fifteen. And finally, sweet sixteen. Hooray. Okay. So this is what your pretzel should look like at the moment. Kind of looks like a letter Y. <laughs> uh, we're now going to take our hook out and bring our hook around and in through the second loop on both sides. Then we're going to come back to hook this side again and pull straight through. There's one side. And the other. It's a little, this is the hardest step of your pretzel. Keeping all those on there. There we go. And pull it through. And then we're going to bring this part. You'll see right where those two that you started with, you see where those meet over here. We're going to put our hook in there. Take our very last rubber band pull it through get both sides of that one rubber band on your hook and we're gonna pull this side through the center of this to create a slip knot and pull that tight then just adjust your placement again and you've got your very own pretzel charm. As this rests, it will get a little bit tighter. I hope you enjoyed making a pretzel with me today on your crochet hook or your rainbow loom hook, whatever it is you had to use. If you enjoyed making this charm with me today, I have a number of other charms using just a crochet hook, such as a snowflake and a butterfly and a four leaf clover. I also have lots and lots of charms on the rainbow loom. If you're feeling hungry, there's the hamburger, the pizza, even a frosted donut. And then I have other fun charms like the duck and Crafty Carol, and a smiley face. So I hope you'll check out some of my other videos as well. And if you liked this, please do consider subscribing so that you'll know when I post additional videos. Comment below to let me know if you have any ideas of charms you'd like to see me make next. And thank you again for looming with me today. Bye-bye.